Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Happy Monday, right? Happy Monday, everybody. Um, so the market kind of played out like uh, we talked about uh, last night on the weekend video, right? Um, airlines, cruise ships week, right? Again, big, big uh, numbers starting to pile up uh, on the Corona. I think it was like 30 or 40 Major League Baseball players um, I think in the last week or so, God, or something like that, whatever the case may be. But again, the theme is kind of playing out. We're getting really big, uh, you know, second wave, or you could call it continuation of the first wave. Um, I believe the governor of uh, Texas came out and says he's actually um, concerned, obviously concerned with the rise. Uh, again, I, I think, you know, it's something going into the future. We have to kind of realize that it's either a here to stay, accept it. Uh, as part of everyday life, eventually just kind of almost think to the point of eventually everybody will get it uh, and kind of move on or, you know, take precautionary measures. Again, that goes to uh, an individual case by case uh, basis. Again, for me, I'd rather uh, stay out of harm's way. But again, obviously, everybody uh, has a different uh, an opinion and I respect everybody's an opinion. So I think this is something uh, that just kind of part of everyday life. But those headlines uh, definitely had uh, an effect on what we saw. So we started talking about in the nightly video last night, uh, we talked about cruise ships uh, week, right? You know, cruise ships week, uh, cruise ship CCL, NCLH, uh, RCL, right? All week, we saw airlines, talked about the airlines gonna be weak. Actually, Dallas actually held up uh, pretty well, but that was the theme and the upside of that theme was obviously when we talked about the names that were going to benefit for apparently any type of further closings. Obviously, uh, ZM, which is, is an absolute monster, uh, TDOC, uh, Chewy, right? Chewy and Netflix. And we you know we talked about these names uh, over the weekend update. And again, it, it, it's all about calculating a game plan and just kind of waiting for that game plan uh, to play out. Because again, in this type of market, uh, again, it's much easier to kind of gate, you know, kind of gauge a small universe around you and kind of uh, set up a game plan based on a group uh, or a theory, whatever the case may be, and just kind of let for everything to play out technically, then kind of chase the quote unquote hot stock of the day. Again, you might make money on the hot stock of the day, whether it's long, short, or indifferent. But again, when you do uh, minimize, okay, your global trading universe, uh, number one, it's much easier to pay attention to those names because, again, they're right in front of you. Uh, you're probably going to know their tendencies, how they trade, their spread, their liquidity, their tendencies, their average true range, so forth and so on. And most important part is you're going to know if there is a danger pocket, whether the stock stalls out. So, for example, I can't possibly tell you what the tendencies are for, for, for a CCL or an RCL or a Norwegian cruise line. But again, I know Tesla, I know Netflix, I know Amazon. Um, and again, the more you get familiar uh, with your focal list, whatever the focal list is, it could be beta names, uh, it could be biotechs in general, it could be semiconductors in general, uh, whatever the case may be, the more that you are um, exposed to them on a day-to-day -day basis, the easier it becomes to kind of embrace their tendencies on a day-to-day -day basis, whether they're weak, they're strong, uh, or indifferent. So that made it a lot easier. The most amazing part about today was I had the greatest game plan in the world, some pretty good moves, and I, and I almost messed up my day. I, I literally almost, almost messed up my day because I was trading a stock at the same time one of the other beta names tri triggered and really, really went nuts. And at one point, I, I had the day, I started the day off really, really well, caught Netflix was doing very well, but at the same time, I kind of lost my focus a little bit, started trading, for example, space, which I made some money on, but you know, very, very small, missed the Roku move, 
And then in a weird way, I was trying to play catch up of all things on a stock like Tesla. And at the end of the, you know, at the end of the morning, I looked and I go, wow, there was just so much value. We'll get to the, you know, we'll get to the individual pivots in a second. And I found myself like an hour into, uh, an hour into the open, basically flat on the day because I not only got, not only did I got messed up and I couldn't read Tesla the right way. I just, I thought I saw volume and I didn't and blah, 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 blah. So not only they got me once, it got me twice. And I, so I, I gave back, uh, I gave back my space, um, my SPCE bounce play. I gave back that whole move on Netflix. And then I had to kind of just sit there and wait. And I was fortunate enough to get uh, Roku on a pretty good bounce off the 60 minute supply and support. And ironically of all things, and we've been, you know, we've been talking about this now for a couple of weeks. Like I started trading, you know, I don't just trade small caps for the sake of trading small caps. I trade small caps uh, off of option flow. So we saw some, I think it was July or August, uh, $2 calls this morning. So I bought some at 181 and then I, I, I literally came back at four o'clock. And the next thing I know, uh, I see all this volume that came out with a PR. So I wound up making some sales uh, at 90, 91 cents. Uh, so, you know, the day turned out fine, but I, I, I think I, I met, I mean, me personally, I, I messed up a premium day, just kind of, I lost track of Roku, for example, that was the one that I missed uh, as I was trading SPCE. So uh, again, usually I turn around and say, you know, may, may your worst day be a profitable one. Certain profitable days are not as good as others. And today I think I, I think I really dropped the ball on a pretty damn good move uh, on some pretty aggressive uh, on some pretty aggressive names. So again, is it the end of the world today? No, keeps you know. Keep the ship moving forward, but I, I think I did drop the ball. I know a lot of you guys did it, did well, but I, I messed up with Tesla twice, not only once but twice, uh, and gave back my morning very very quickly. The only good part about giving back your morning very very quickly, you have a whole day ahead. And again, like I always say, I'd rather give up my morning than give up my afternoon. In the afternoon, I would I, would, I basically don't even trade because again, uh, the average true range starts uh, shrinking. So uh, again, macro wise, again we got part one right, right? I got part one right. I read it correctly. Uh, the shippers, the home, you know, the shippers, the airlines, they were weak. Got that part right. Uh, the stay-at-home plays, right? Got that part right. What I didn't get right is the continuation of softness in the market. The market is just completely, uh, just absolutely insane. Just every single day, it's the same thing every day. Nasdaq uh, composite up, up up another hundred today, and the names that we saw weaker, you know, pretty much every single day last week into the afternoon session. Uh, we saw really come alive today. The Amazons of the world, the Googles of the world, Apple did very well, NVIDIA did very well. Obviously, we'll talk about Netflix, big breakout on Netflix uh, and Microsoft. Uh, Facebook, I like for tomorrow. Uh, a lot of good call buying going on. But again, what's going to stop this market? It's just, it really is amazing. It sounds like a broken record. But now, again, we're literally, uh, we're, you know, we're literally a day away from taking out Friday's high of this 247 level on the queues are going to be an important level. And obviously the 52 week highs of uh, 247.80. So again, again, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty rhetorical question these days. But again, what is this market have to do to go down? And until we actually get that, you know, until we actually get that uh, confirmation, not just opinions, like somebody told me, it's like somebody told me on, uh, you know, on, on, on Friday, ZM is going to 220, while well, ZM is at 250. ZM's a 250, you know, 255, you know. So again, forget about your opinions. Again, it, it, it's a rhetorical question, but the, the question is actually very, very valid. Until the buyers really start forming an incredible strike, buyer strike against this market, you know, there's just going to be a rotation uh, every single day. So going into tomorrow, again, I'm always cautious, uh, cautiously optimistic uh, going into the next trading day. Uh, again, I'm, you know, I'm not naive. I, I do believe there will be a pull. As as in, as General Maximus said in, in Gladiator, I will have you know somebody will turn around and say I'll have my revenge in this lifetime or the next. If there's any bears left to even even make that statement, but again, at the end of the day, incredible bullish market action. So uh, let's talk about the pivots uh, for today. Um, you know, look you know, I, again, Boeing was definitely part of you know definitely part of the whole airline thing. And I turned around and said, look, 183 if it builds below. Uh, could see 78, 79. Here is like you know. Here is the Boeing. Uh, here is the Boeing pivot. You know. Here is the one. 
Uh, here's the 183 we talked about pre-market. And, you know, it only went down a dollar, right? It only went down a dollar considering how the rest uh, of these companies were getting hit, especially RCL. We'll show you that in a second. It was very, very amazing that, that Boeing actually held up very, very well. And it actually uh, woke up later in the day. But again, if you did take uh, Boeing, again, it was only uh, a dollar there in the trade. Uh, TDOC, uh, 209.50, 210 needs to build. Again, uh, sticking with the stay-at-home theme. Uh, obviously never got there. Traded to 209.35 uh, pre-market. Uh, Netflix was the big one. Um, you know, 459, 52-week high needs to build. And Netflix exploded. Again, not only is it a benefactor uh, of the whole stay-at-home potential movement. Again, this is a beta name. Uh, it's a, You know, it's one of these darlings uh, on Wall Street, people just love the stock. Again, we saw so we talking about all last week, the 460s, 470s, 475s, uh, call buying going into this week, and it looks like all of them are gonna be about to get paid for tomorrow. Uh, closed right at the high at uh, almost 469, big, big move on uh, Netflix. Uh, mRNA never got there. Uh, Zoom, what are you gonna say about Zoom? Zoom's been just a monster. Uh, 248 now needs to build. Uh, 260s potentially. So here was Zoom again, again sticking with the whole theme. So here was the 248, which is the pre-market high. It broke 248, and the first move uh, was seven dollars. So really, really big move on Zoom. I know a lot of you guys caught that uh, really well. I was in Netflix, unfortunately, when Zoom triggered. So missed that trade. Uh, you know, DAL, uh, DAL. If it builds below 25. Uh, can excuse me, if it builds below 28, uh, it can flush. Here was DAL, right? Here was DAL. Here was the 28. Uh, here was the 28 earlier, which didn't get, didn't get even close to there. Uh, CCL, you know, CCL had a nice little push down, 1730 pre-market. If it builds below, it can flush more. CCL actually did have a nice little move. Uh, so here was a 1730, and CCL uh, went down to like 1650s. Uh, before recovering a little bit, um, RCL got smacked. Uh, it, it opened up at 53.50. I said, hey, if, if, if it gets below uh, 53, it can flush. Again, congratulations to all you guys uh, who caught RCL. So here is RCL. Uh, there was the 53 right over here, and they got smacked. It went all the way down to 50 uh, on RCL. Uh, Amazon, again, we started seeing really, really, again, the, the one thing about Amazon, guys, I'll give you guys kind of, like kind of free advice, or just not even advice, just observation. Any single time you see Amazon uh, with really aggressive call buying, okay, uh, it doesn't even need to be deep out of the money. As long as you're seeing, you know, a million dollar, 500,000, 800,000 in the money, out of the money bets, especially short-term expiration, usually good things are going to happen. Today we saw really good aggressive buying uh, for the July, you know, for the July, for the July weeklies. Um, excuse me, for the for June weeklies for July and August uh, calls, uh, Amazon 2698, uh, 2700 needs to build. And Amazon exploded into the close. And, and again, this is the whole point of just watching order flow and just watching option order flow. Here's a 2700, and it closed right at the highs, almost uh, 218. Uh, I think tomorrow uh, it probably either gaps up above this 2720s level, 52 week highs. Uh, or kind of runs at some point tomorrow morning. So really good job. Congratulations, you guys are still holding uh, Amazon. IWM never made it. And again, this is where I messed up. This is where instead of me buying Roku at 131, I was doing a dip buy on space, which I basically made like nine cents, right? Nine cents instead of look at the 131 needs to build on Roku, right? 131 needs to build on Roku. So it took out the 131. And went all the way up to here. Excuse me. And went all the way up to 135. Just absolutely exploded. Here's the 131, and it went to 135. So again, why make four dollars when you can make nine cents? Anyway, so yeah, that's kind of how uh, my morning kind of shaped out. And again, I caught uh, I caught Roku on a decent bounce play off the 60 minute support. I caught that VSTM. Got a lucky on it, but whatever. Caught that VSTM. So. Uh, again, am I happy about today? You know, I'm content, right? I think that's the best way of saying it. I can con I'm content. Uh, but again, I, I did. I think I did drop uh, the ball on a lot of things. Just kind of, uh, just kind of, you know, losing a little bit of attention on the core names uh, that I did trade. Uh, this is towards towards uh, the middle morning. Uh, 86.50, 87. 
Uh, Boeing, you know, Boeing trading 89 right now uh, after the close. There was some uh, 200 call buying coming in this morning. Um, you know, again, this is where this is where I got caught twice, right? 106 only went up a dollar and stalled out. I sold it. Then I bought it back at 108, stalled out, sold it. You know, so I wound up losing like you know three and change, um, almost four and change. No, four, about four, about four and change on on Tesla, which basically. Um, it kind of negated my my Netflix trade. So uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, CCL, RCL, Facebook, I still like. Great move there. Might see highs later on Netflix. Uh, good move there. And uh, yeah, nice close uh, both on Amazon and nice close on uh, Netflix. So uh, tomorrow, again, uh, obviously, I want, I'd like to watch... Uh, Amazon tomorrow on any dips. Uh, obviously, that uh, 2720s will be watching. Obviously, Netflix into some dips. Uh, kind of, you know, net, net, uh, excuse me, net dips into that 60 minute support. Red to green, obviously, on the table as well. Um, watching Facebook as well. You know, names like, you know, names like Alibaba. They just can't get out of their own way. Shop, I think it's a little extended. Uh, Boeing looks interesting tomorrow. I do want to keep an eye on Boeing. Those 200. Two hundred dollar uh, mid morning call buying uh, got my attention. Definitely, definitely got my attention. So I definitely want to keep an eye on it uh, for tomorrow as well. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Uh, good job for all you guys who actually traded the stocks that we were supposed to trade instead of the nonsense. Uh, anyway, guys, have a great night, everybody. God's help. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.